Well, so the Marines that are here are, we're all members of the Marine Aviation Detachment at Pax River. Uh, we're also assigned to Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 23, which is the ultimately the carrier suitability branch uh, of test and evaluation. As a side part of that uh, piece of being Marines, though, the additional duty that we're out here is taking a look at the ship, the facilities, the ability to operate uh, an F-35B squadron aboard should the opportunity uh, present itself that we embark uh, F-35B squadron from the Marine Corps. possibility of Marines deploying on this ship. Um, by us being here, we can see where things would work well and where things would not work well. We'll mesh together well. The British sailors, the British forces here, great to work with. Couldn't ask for a better group of uh, men and women. I think we have learned that, that work well is the new crew, the yellow shirts, moving around on the deck, moving the aircraft. First couple of days, they taxed them all around the, the deck. Now they're starting to tighten up their taxi moves, preparing for a full deck. We're working with the Royal Navy uh, on a daily basis to help streamline the processes and procedures. Obviously, we speak the same language, but we use a lot of different words that mean the same things. And so uh, integrating our future assets with the, the carrier strike group, the carrier air wing as well, it's going to be a long process. It's going to require a lot of ironing out finer details. And so we're starting that process now in terms of identifying what we think the points of friction will be in the future, as in the differences between how we operate our different uh, standards for how we qualify pilots and how we qualify maintainers, as well as uh, the levels at which we perform certain maintenance actions. Uh, there are a few differences. We're used to a faster op tempo, um, but there again, this they haven't seen a uh, fast mover on the deck for eight plus years. Uh, it's gonna take a you know, couple times out to sea with a full deck and some fast movers to kind of get that battle rhythm, if you will, um, but it won't take long. We've got an eager crew upstairs um, and throughout the whole ship for that matter, and I think they'll get it done. The Royal Navy is still kind of developing their processes and procedures of how they're going to run their carrier. Uh, the Royal Navy has, and the RAF as well have had a presence with U.S. units aboard U.S. ships for the past several years uh, as part of maintaining their sea legs, for lack of a better term, uh, with exchange tours of the Royal Navy or with the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marines uh, in order to provide them with a sustained knowledge and common operating practices that they've brought back to this ship. So the officers that are here, most of them, as well as a lot of the enlisted sailors, have spent several years aboard U.S. Navy ships. Uh, so there's a lot of processes and procedures that are the same, and we're actually finding a lot of comfort in that. Uh, the differences kind of stem themselves more in a lot of the customs and traditions, which uh, is always good to learn a little bit about.